a race faced by banks. It's often said that profit is a reward for risk bearing. Nowhere is this truer than in the case of banking industry. Banks are literally exposed to many different types of risk. A successful banker is one that can mitigate this risk and create significant returns for the shareholders on a consistent basis. Mitigation of risk begins by first correctly identifying the risks, why they arise, and what damage can they cause. In this article, we have listed the major type of risk that are faced by every bank. They are as follows. Credit risk. Credit risk is the risk that arises from the possibility of non-payment of loans by the borrowers. Although credit risk is largely defined as risk of not receiving payment, banks also include the risk of delayed payments within this category. Over time, these cash flow risks are caused by the borrower becoming insolvent, hence, such risks can be avoided if the bank conducts a thorough check and sanctions loans only to individuals and businesses that are not likely to run out of income over the period of the loan. Credit rating agencies provide adequate information to enable the banks to make informed decisions in this regard. The profitability of bank is extremely sensitive to credit risk. Hence, even if credit risk rises by a small amount, the profitability of the bank can get extremely impacted. Therefore, to deal with such risk, banks have come up with the right variety of measures. For instance, banks always hold a certain amount of funds in reserves to mitigate such risk. The moment a loan is made, a certain amount of money is appropriated to the provision account. Also, banks have started utilizing tools like structured finance to mitigate such risks. Securitization helps remove the concentrate risk from the bank's book and diffuse it amongst the various investors in the capital markets. Credit derivatives like credit default swap have also come into existence to help banks survive in the event of a credit default. Unpaid loans were, are, and will always be a byproduct of conducting the banking business. Modern banks have realized this and are prepared to handle the situation without becoming insolvent until a catastrophic loss occurs. Market risk. Apart from making loans, banks also hold a significant portion of securities. Some of these securities are held because of the treasury operations of the bank, as a means to park money for the short term. However, many securities are also held as collateral based on which banks have given loans to their customers. The business of banking is therefore intertwined with the business of capital markets. Banks face market risk in various forms. For instance, if they are holding a large amount of equity, then they are exposed to equity risk. Also, banks by definition have to hold foreign exchange exposing them to forex risk. Similarly, banks lend against commodities like gold, silver, and real estate which exposes them to commodity risk as well. In order to be able to mitigate such risk, banks simply use hedging contracts. They use financial derivatives which are freely available for sale in any financial market using contracts like forwards, options, and swaps, banks are able to almost eliminate market risk from their balance sheet. 
Operational risk. Banks have to conduct massive operation in order to be profitable. Economies of scale work in the favor of larger banks. Hence, maintaining consistent internal process on such a large scale is an extremely difficult task. Thank you.